Hello everyone, it's Living Online here for Server Pro, and today I'll be showing you how to install a fun mini game data pack called Heart Rush on your server. This video will include five main sections. There will be timestamps in the description if you wish to jump to a specific part. I'm gonna change the lives to three. You can also select an announcer. Welcome to Carrot's announcing voice. Okay, let's. Ready? Start. This is a lot like Bed Wars. There's a shop. We can buy upgrades. Wow. Okay, we're OP right now. If this goes to plan, I'm gonna jump on top of his base and get his heart. The oh no, he's got a trident out. <gasps> Holy. Why does everyone keep dying? What is going on? <gasps> no, stop. Whoa, that clutch. Okay. He's about to get knocked off. I have an orb of resurrection, so I should come back to life if I die. No, no. Bye, 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 bye. Oh, it worked. The orb of resurrection worked. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go get his heart. Quick. Oh my god, I think I'm gonna- Yes, I got- Oh, yes, I got his heart. Now I'm gonna get someone else's heart. Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna respawn. Quick, quick, respawn. Wow, these crystals actually work. Let me get a- <gasps> Whoa. <gasps> yes, I got another one. Oh, Blue's running out of lives. Let's target Blue instead so they can get eliminated can no longer steal lives what oh it's a different mode now how am i gonna survive this red has so many hearts i'm on one heart if he gets this one i'm dead it's right open i know i'm gonna die if he just jumps in i'm dead i don't know if you noticed this but you did not win firstly you can use the link in the description to get to the official download page if you scroll down, the download link is in bold red. All you have to do is click it and it instantly downloads the zip file. Below it, you'll see that there is also a required resource pack download button. You'll just have to press it and it instantly downloads the zip file too. You'll then have to extract this zip in order to get the map folder. To make the next step easier, we recommend moving this world folder to a place where you can easily access. For example, your desktop. Firstly, you're going to have to go to the server.pro website and access your server control panel from there. At the dashboard, make sure that the server version matches the map version to ensure no complications. It should be 1.17. Before proceeding to the next step, quickly confirm that the server is offline. Afterwards, head over to the files tab. Here you'll see a couple different files, but the only thing we need to do right now is select the world folder and delete it. Then we click the upload button in the top right. When this window appears, you select folder and navigate to the area you saved the world folder previously. Clicking upload, you'll be prompted with this pop-up. Click upload and upload again. It'll take a couple seconds for the files to upload. However, when it's done, you want to select the folder and rename it to something simpler, such as heart rush. It is important to note though that spaces and special characters are not allowed. For the next step, you'll want to copy the name you just renamed the world to, proceed onto the server.properties file, look for level name online 9, and after the equals, right click and paste. Now you've officially uploaded the world onto your server. Though, if you want a resource pack prompt like this to pop up upon joining, go over to line 32 and paste the download link of the resource pack you wish to use. What we've done is uploaded that resource pack to our Dropbox for you to use, so if you'd like, you can use our link which can be found in the description. Before moving on, it's crucial to save file to confirm the changes. When you're ready, turn on the server by going over to the dashboard and pressing the start button. Keep in mind though that you'll have to copy this host name and paste it into the multiplayer section of Minecraft in order to join the server. Your friends will also have to type it in if they want to join you. Upon entering the world, you'll be prompted with the resource pack pop-up. We recommend selecting yes, so the resource pack is instantly enabled every time you log back onto the server. Firstly, on your left, there is the option of teleporting to a tutorial island. Here you'll see live previews and brief explanations of the main features of the minigame. If you go back to the lobby, you can follow a bridge leading to a sign stating click here to make a skill. That's right, with this map you can create your own custom skills and import them into your world. Your friends will also be able to see and use the skills you've created. 
To do this, you right click the sign and you'll receive a set of instructions you can follow. If you click the here button, you'll be prompted with this pop-up. The link is totally safe so you don't have to worry about pressing yes. Once you're there, you simply have to type up what you want to name your skill, the item you want it to be displayed as in the menu and what effects it'll give you. If you're stuck, this link here will show you how some skills in the game were made so you can get inspiration from there. When you're done customizing your skill, you'll have to press generate code and copy what's in the text box underneath. Afterwards, go back into your server and open the book and quill you were given. Here is where you'll paste that code. To complete the process, we now just have to go back and press the skill sign again. You'll know it's worked once this text pops up in chat. If you follow the teams and start bridge, on the left there is a menu you can click on. Here you can see a lot of awesome features. The arena selection tab will let you see live previews of all the maps you can play with and let you select which one you want your next game to be on. There is an options tab where you can adjust the lives each team has and enable different game modes. There is the skills tab of course, you can select up to 3 skills to use and those can be switched around whenever you want. Not to mention you can customize your own in-game shield banner as well as adjust your own personal preferences. Once you've made the adjustments that suit you, you have the option of choosing a team colour. Alternatively, you can leave your current team or randomise the team you get assigned to. To start, you'll need at least two players assigned to different teams, but once everyone is prepared, you're ready to press the start button and head into your first Heart Rush game. Well, that's it for this video. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them down below. And if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to see more from our channel. Thank you for watching.